The true life story you are about to see was lifted from the files of the Bunko Squad. We call it the case of the gullible woodpecker. Man, is he loaded. What do I use on this pitch? Brooklyn Bridge. Ah, Pony Treasure, man. A person obsessed with greed is easy prey for the confidence man. One third class ticket on the Queen Mini. to the police, this would never have happened. 17 paces to north. I think I'm getting warm. Yikes! Fire extinguishers! I'll take one. Get your late treasure map right here, 40 bucks. Now, 10 paces south. Six, seven, eight, nine. Then do rest to a toll grid. Well, 75, please. had gone right to the police, this would never have happened. to the police, this would never have happened. I would like to deposit this for a rainy day. Yes, sir. It looks kind of stormy now. gone right to the police.
In a moment, you will see how we close the file on the case of the gullible woodpecker. <coughs> My money! A lone rider braves the searing sun and scorching sand. It is that intrepid, dedicated symbol of law and order, Inspector Willoughby. That's me, folks. Inspector Willoughby is on his way to return the fabulous, priceless jewel, the red-eyed ruby. Isn't it a beaut? Wow. <clears throat> Which was stolen by that notorious jewel thief, Yeggs Benedict. That's me, folks. It was taken from the forehead of the green idol in the tomb of King Tut Tut Almond, home of the red eyed ruby. There it is, the green idol. How do you do, green idol? I am Inspector Willoughby. How do you do? 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 I have come to return the red-eyed ruby to its rightful owner. Man, a million bucks with the red-eyed ruby. Well, mission accomplished. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye already. <laughs> Now, where have I seen that face before? Ah, yes. Gabe Benedict, international jewel thief. Hmm. He is after but one thing. I shall have to guard the red-eyed ruby with all my cunning skill. Open the door! Open up! Uh, what's the password? Uh, uh, um... Why, swordfish. Uh, yeah, swordfish. All righty. It was really halibut. This calls for a little strategy. Ah, Sahib Inspector, I am Sheik Sik Abed. My heart goes with gratitude that you have restored the red-eyed ruby to us. It is our custom to, like, uh, throw a blowout for you. A real bomb. My, it looks nice. Grenade of suckling pig. You can have the apple. Oh, thank you. Mmm. Cool. Excellent. Hey, save some for me. Bye, Green Idol. Oh, now, time for the dancing goyles. Now, where's them dancing goyles at? <laughs> now for the ruby. Uh-uh, I wouldn't do that. Which hand do you choose? Uh, this one. That one. Uh, this one. That one. That one? Now, which hand do you choose? Oh, oh, oh. Now, let's see. Uh, which hand shall I take? Uh, 
This one or that one? Hmm. I'll take a chance on this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Where's the ruby? Which hand do you take now? I take both of them. Resort to subterfuge. Okay, let me have it. I got it. I got it. I got the red eyed ruby. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. Well, mission accomplished. Cheaters never prosper. That's the end of this who got it. I've seen my duty, and I've done it. Friars Club Hotel. Oh, that's for me. Shall we have a cartoon? <laughs>
pot. Tea porridge go. Tea porridge in a pot. Time we Starting tonight on a 20-year trek into darkest Africa are the two noted big game hunters, Mr. and Mrs. J.T. Moneybelt. <laughs> My fifty bucks!
Okay, next. Okay, next. Okay, next. must get through. It means life or death. Oh, gosh. Don't you worry. I'll fly you through.
parque Folhas Verdes. Olá, turma, eu sou um cachorro. Eu cuido de todas as árvores aqui. Gosto muito de árvores. Se eu aguardo essas arvorezinhas, elas vão crescer, meus amiguinhos. Que lindo brotinho. A cegonha passou por aqui. Que belezinha. Bilo, bilo, bilo. Tudo bem agora? É um lindo nenezinho. Meus parabéns. Você é o miserável de pica-pau. Eu gosto muito de árvores, mas não gosto de pica-paus. Não se assuste, tudo. ele não voltará. Gertrudes é a árvore mais velha de nosso parque. Às vezes ela fica nervosa à toa, sabe? Que palhaço! Falando com árvore! Ei, tu da minha velha, eu vou fazer uma brincadeira com ele. Gertrudes, espera, calminha toda. Calminha, minha velha. Não puxa. Eu espero que não seja tarde. Ele vai tirar a temperatura. Eu vou arranjar uma. Poxa vida! Lá vai um pedrão! Eu nunca vi temperatura tão alta assim. Cara, essa está tremendo. Bem, com isso ela vai sarar. Diga! Puxa, não é tão ruim assim. Agora vamos tomar o pulso. Puxa, é o pulso mais pulsante que já tomei. É melhor ouvir o coração. Então ele quer ouvir batidas? Que tal essa? Pobre toda, vai ser preciso operar. Isso vai dar uma dorzinha. Clorofila. Bem, tudo isso vai doer, mas é só uma picadinha. Ficar paus neste parque e você está incomodando a Gertrudes. Ah, oh, palhaço, você não é médico, é um cachorro. Por que não vai tomar buracos por aí? Bem, tá okay. certo. Sim, mas que burro. Ah, que droga. Agora vou tapar esse buraco com cimento. Ah, claro. E agora levante o outro. Okay. Tá bem. E agora pode baixar. Tá certo. Pau. 
Fale comigo todinha, o que posso fazer por você? Muita comida! Muita comida! Agora uma galinha! E agora um peixe! E agora uma torta! Coma na lanchonete do Smedley. Panquecas, 10 pratas cada. Tem um barulho que parece ser um louco preguês. As suas ordens, rapaz. O que vai ser? Uma pilha de panquecas? Com bastante de manteiga? Uhum. Bastante Lobster. geleia? Uhum. Já não tem uma pilha de panquecas do teu fiz? Boas? Boas? Mais manteiga? Mais geleia? Boas? Muita manteiga? Muita geleia? Boas? Boas? Certo? Mais manteiga? Não tem de quê? Panquecas, 60 pratas. Pode primeiro e coma depois. Desculpe, filho, mas eu não posso tocar no meu negócio com pendura. Arranje o serviço, rapaz. Cabe de vida. Pianista, precisa Ajudante de fotógrafo, precisa-se. Volta. Pronto? Ready? Ok. 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 okay. Yeah. 
Vencedor do concurso de twist, Urso Júnior. E aqui está o seu prêmio, um macaco de verdade. Ei, você é engraçadinho. Vou te levar pra casa. Vou te chamar de caco. Caco, o macaco. Se meu pai te acha, bota nós dois pra fora. Não faça macaquices. Vou te esconder no banheiro. Você na minha. Sai com as mãos pra cima. Um, dois, três. 
The monkey, Cadê o he's macaco? gone. <risos> Bunky, Caco, o que está what fazendo? Traga os ovos para cá. Pois, o que está acontecendo aí embaixo? Você não aguenta. Escova de dente elétrico. Charlie, why are you brushing your teeth at a time like this? Bessie, either that monkey goes or I go. Well, goodbye, dear. Yes, goodbye. We're gonna miss you. Dirty dog needs that next blind. Hold on a second. do motorista. Quando Pierre está criando. Oh, 
Eu fui meu zumbi para trago. Desculpe. Escada automática.
Show. E hoje estaremos aqui na próxima semana com mais meia hora de rir de seu velho amigo Pica-Pão. Até o próximo show. Até lá. Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs>
right back, drumstick. Don't beat it. <laughs> Courtesy of Colonel Playbush, we is permitted to drive through his 60,000 acre estate. Oh, hum. How boring. The Colonel's estate is the home of many, many rare and priceless trees. Rare and priceless trees? Mmm, boy. <laughs> And there, on our right, is a fine specimen of weeping willow. <laughs> Here is a beautiful fir tree. And uh, a giant shoe tree. We is now approaching the mansion of Colonel Fleabush. And, uh-oh, there is the Colonel now, in person. Oh, my rare anthropologian, fine specimen and my beautiful cerebellious cornificence, blended trees. An idle painted woodpecker, exquisite fella. Woodpecker? Oh, my priceless tree. Where's the confounded cat? Filbert! 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 You loafer! There's a woodpecker out there. And I give you just two minutes to 
spit it out. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Now get going! My beautiful Odensa Floris, it's, it's dead. Geisha tree? Get that dynamite out of here! And now he is about to pass through the ruins of Colonel Freebush's estate. These were once the pride and joy of this vast estate, ladies and gentlemen. Hilbert! All of this damage is said to be caused by a woodpecker. My grass! Aquarium. Here below the ocean surface, spectators gather to watch the passing show. Strange fish, rare and beautiful, glide by in an everlasting parade of color. 
Here we see a hammerhead shark. This is the Louisiana catfish. Meow. And the dogfish. <laughs> this little fellow is a puffer fish. Watch him puff up. An amazing show of control. Uh-oh. This is drama of the deep folks. The greedy cannibal fish. Too bad, but it's survival of the fittest. What's this? The puffer fish is using his extraordinary power to save his life. Good show, puffer. When two swordfish meet, it usually means a duel. Feeding time at the porpoise tank is always a big event and the most popular attraction for the tourists. On his platform high above the tank, attendant Smedley is about to feed the porpoise. Now watch how daintily the porpoise takes the fish. I'll have to blow this boy up. Come and get it. Hey, you. No fishing allowed in the aquarium. Focus your eyeballs on that sign, Sonny. Check all fishing tackle at death. Now get lost. Come and get it. Mm -hmm. I'd have swore that was the penguin. Come and get it again. That does it. I double dare you to try that once more. <laughs> That boy don't know it, but he's messing around with an old ball player. Next time, I'll just bat him over left field fence. <laughs> Mighty good pass ball that boy's got. I'll land him with my rod and reel. I'll use a little strategy. Come and get it. Doggone! Dirty little rat will find it from free. Dark in here. Turn on the light. That's better. Yipe! I'm mad, and I'm gonna do me a little snipe shooting. Reach, boy. Only one thing to do, drain the tank. Cotton picking minute, you, you mackerel moocher. Okay, Fido. Where's your dog license? Dog license? Heck, I ain't no dog. You are too a dog. I got a job. I can talk. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Is 
sometimes I forget I am a dog. <laughs>
you wanted and the diamond ring huh honey honey hello oh, huh, honey? Oh. too excited to talk no doubt <laughs> well now for more golden eggs love that goose mm -hmm. for a living dog gooseberry pudding <laughs> always kidding around Come on, baby. Let's have an egg now. Ow! 
That's smart. I'll get some eggs by crook or hook. A strike. <laughs> Gold strike, that is. Take those, Goosey. The eggs. <laughs> At last they got the golden eggs. Oh, boy. <laughs> Good shopping trip. Hello, dear. I'm uh, er, uh, <laughs> afraid I spent a lot of money. Oh, that's all right, dear. I got a surprise. My house! <laughs> what happened to my house? Now, now, hold it. Don't get excited, my dear. We don't need this house anymore. You see, we have a goose that lays golden eggs. And we are rich. Golden eggs. <laughs> Clank? Clank? It's real. It's a real golden egg. We're rich. We're rich. Oh, money. Golden olive. <laughs> vacation. you remember me, Daddy-O? A moose face. And I come back to marry your daughter. Uh, you Hollywood pony. Pony? Check the ratings, Chiefy. I'm a big TV star. Boy, you prove you Indian brave. You bring back meat for cooking pot. Then we make marriage talk. And take off crazy pale face clothes. Keep the pot hot, Pop. Be back quick to claim the chick. Ah, the 
natives are restless today. Social highlight of the year, the opening of the concert season. 
the who's who of the social register is present for this auspicious occasion. And now the distinguished conductor makes his appearance. The maestro approaches the podium. <laughs> is raised. Thank <laughs> you. 
enjoyed our show. Join us again on our next program for a half hour of fun with your old pal, Woody Woodpecker. See you on our next show. Bye now. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> breaking the law, see? Woodpecker is protected by law. Now tell him you're sorry. Now get along. Here now, I wouldn't do that.
three, two, one. you wanted and the diamond ring <coughs> huh honey honey hello hello huh honey hello too excited to talk no doubt <laughs> well now for more golden eggs love that goose mm -hmm. for a living dog gooseberry pudding <laughs> <laughs> always kidding around Come on, baby. Let's have an egg now. Ow! That's smart. I'll get some eggs by crook or hook. A strike. <laughs> Gold strike, that is.
take those, Goofy. The eggs. <laughs> At last I got the golden eggs. Oh, boy. <laughs> Good shopping trip. Hello, dear. I'm uh, er, uh, <laughs> afraid I spent a lot of money. Oh, that's all right, dear. I got a surprise. My house! What happened to my house? Now, now, hold it. Don't get excited, my dear. We don't need this house anymore. You see, we have a goose that lays golden eggs. And we are rich. Golden eggs. Clank? Clank? It's real. It's a real golden egg. We're rich. We're rich. Oh, money. Golden vacation. you remember me, Daddy-O? A moose face. And I come back to marry your daughter. Uh, you Hollywood pony. Pony? Check the ratings, Chiefy. I'm a big TV star. Pooey, you prove your Indian brave. You bring back meat for cooking pot. Then we make marriage talk. And take off crazy pale face clothes. Keep the pot hot, Pop. Be back quick to claim the chick. Ah, the natives are restless today. Nope. 
imitators. You look a little upset, Kimo Sabi. On your feet and get some meat. Don't let that big bully get away with that. Go get him, tiger. You're doing fine, champ. He didn't lay a glove on you. We'll get him this round. You got him worried, Rocky. Take a sniff of this. Now get it. Just a cotton pick a minute. You trying to get me killed? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy horse. I'm taking you to dinner. <laughs> oh, Kino. What you put in pot, huh? Uh, what do you say to a little woodpecker fricassee? Oh, no. Keep your eye on the pot, man, because pretty soon a woodpecker is going to drop in. <laughs> Ah, oh, now, ain't that clever? <laughs> Every cup! I set a trap for the wood and you go and over the cliff. Now, I try to catch and you meet and you fall in the pot and I... <laughs> Before. Why you hate me? I give up. I'm no Indian brave. I'm just a Hollywood pony. If I can't marry Hummingbird, I'm gonna end it all. Notify the press. Ah, uh, don't that get you? Right here. I surrender. Take me to your leader. Here's meat for the pot, Daddy O. Now, where's my baby doll? Hmm, him kind of skinny. But the deal's a deal. You get him, daughter. <laughs> This cute little birdie. Oh, my irresistible charm wins again. Sorry, we can't stay for dinner. highlight of the year, the opening of the concert season. The who's who of the social register is present for this auspicious occasion. And now the distinguished conductor makes his appearance. The maestro approaches the podium.
another one of your little jokes, eh, Dole? Uh, uh, very funny. <laughs> <laughs>
it is, eh? Quite a bit of trouble. As a matter of fact, for a while it was a question of who stops who. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Don't worry, he won't hurt you. He stopped. Now this one here, uh, I ran out of stopping. <laughs> this one almost got away. 
And this one here, folks, is a rhino. Uh, 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 this is a camelback, uh, uh, a fish tail zebra. There, to tell the truth, I made that one up on some odd pieces I had left over. Now this little dumb cop, boy, he was the worst one of them all. Let me tell you how I finally outsmarted the little gushtunka on capturing him. One day, while I was out looking for specimens for stuffing, Sounds like a woodpecker pecking. <laughs> My, what a fine specimen. Say, kiddo, how would you like to be stalked, eh? Thanks, but I just ate. Maybe some other time? <laughs> what a sense of humor. Say, kiddo, you're pretty sharp there. <laughs> Uh, wonderful sense of humor. So, while I was resting, I was planning my next move. It is a well-known fact that woodpeckers like acorns, though. Then the little stinker comes by, I will zook him up in the vacuum machine. Yeah. Ah, an acorn. Why don't you start? Now, I was getting mad. At this point, I decided I would have to use a little strategy. Disguising myself as yeah. a proper woodpecker, I would fool the little fella. Woody, my son, it's me, your papa. Hmm. I always thought I was an orphan. Come, I take you home and stuff, uh, feed you. Guy. No bloody rides without a ticket. Try to match with me the professor, will you? Hi. Hello there. <laughs> It was a slam bang scuffle, but the big smart alec wound up being stuffed. Yeah. Well, I still had to catch the woodpecker, so I cooked up a very ingenious plot. <laughs>
special bulletin. Today is Friday the 13th, and the police department asks your cooperation in removing all black cats from the street. Gee willigers, I wouldn't want to be a black cat today. Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him well. Boy, I'll see what the Ritz has on their menu today. Sunday drivers, I'll report this to the police. When you need an officer, he's never around. There's a black cat. Let him have it. Look, it's Doc. Yeah, and he's in trouble. We better save him. <laughs> Someone?
What nonsense! Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed our show. Join us again on our next program for a half hour of fun with your old pal, Woody Woodpecker. See you on our next show. Bye now. Thank <laughs> you.